Hello, welcome to ArchieToursOnline.com. My name is Paul Priestley and today we're going to be looking at the fifth in my series on how to draw animals. This time we're looking at how to draw a dog. Yes, woof woof. So, let's make a start. Come on. I'm going to start by just measuring out the head for the dog. So just making a little mark, the top of the head, the bottom of the head, and then just draw a little almost rectangular shape, larger at the top, wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Uh, two shapes on either side to produce the ears. I'm going to measure the head. The head is equal to the body. So we're just sketching the basic shapes for the body. Then measure the body, the head, and the head legs are the same length. So we'll just draw in the legs. Everything's drawn very simply, very simple shapes, as you can see here. And I'm using a, <clears throat> a very hard pencil and I'm also um, pressing on very lightly. Now, the body from the side is a little bit larger than the width of the front of the body, as you saw that I mentioned, measured there. Uh, we've got the slight curve for the back. The back of the body curves a little bit. The back leg, now, I'm working out where the um, knees are. I'm just drawing the back leg. The back leg's got that very big elbow shape there. Okay, and just block that in. We draw the other leg down here, similar sort of shape, you see, as he's doing here. But you'll notice I've made the top of it a bit too narrow, so we'll make that a bit wider. That's better. Okay, all right, let's finish off the dog. That's it. Now, um, just going to go over this slightly, just to correct a few little shapes, put a little bit more detail to the shape. Just uh, checking, making sure the dog's legs are the same width, the ears are the same width, and so on. Now, uh, you'll notice I did do a little preliminary drawing here. Um, I'll let you into a little secret. I filmed a little bit without um, pressing record, so I've had to rub it out and go over it. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm developing now the, um, the nose and the jowls of the dog there. You'll notice for the eyes, I did two little... Um, lines first angles because the eyes of the dog point downwards and you can see that little extension that I've given to the eyes there to make them look that little bit more realistic so I'm just blocking in now and outlining the main shapes little folds in the ears as you can see here just giving a little bit more detail and texture and interest to the outline we can also use this outline because, as you can see, I'm using a softer pencil now to give a little bit more detail and also to correct one or two things. You see here, uh, a little bit, a few little curves just so you can see the knee, little bulges there on the back of the knee, a little bit of detail along the back there, slight curve to the back, you see, up for the tail down the back of the leg here. Look, you can see here, I've just widened the back of the leg slightly the top there. This is where you can correct all that initial drawing which is really quite useful. That's why you only draw it with a light line to start with. Okay we just finished this little bit off here. Okay we're going to start putting in a little bit more of the finer detail now, a little bit of uh, shapes of where the light and shade is going to be. Now I'm going to start blocking this in. You'll notice when I do the eyes I leave a little white spot to give highlight to the eyes. It makes the eyes look that little bit more realistic and alive. The nose, again, little dots, but you, the nose is three-dimensional element, so I'm leaving the top of it slightly lighter, as you can see there. Developing the mouth and then the, just the lips underneath there. The Again, the side of the, the face, just blocking this in. So I'm just strengthening these areas here, and now I'm going to start adding a little bit of light and shade. So we can start to begin to make the dog look a little bit more three-dimensional. So by, you see that sort of pinched look that the dog has by its eyes, you see, because the nose is wider, it gets wider as it comes down to the nose. So we just put in a few of these lines in here now to just to give the dog a little bit of a character. A little bit more line down and shading down the size down the side of the ears. And you can see how the dog's face now is looking much more three-dimensional. Now you'll notice here, when I put the dark tones in, you can see how I've created an edge. And you see how it makes the ears stand out. I'm doing a similar sort of thing just underneath the body by the top leg there, you see. I'll do the same thing here. By shading the back leg, it makes the body stand out. It makes it look three-dimensional. So creating edges, getting rid of the outlines that we've drawn, is very useful. You'll notice for the, um, 
the claws of the dog, I've just suggested lines. I haven't put too much detail in. Now, I'm going to use a bit of graphite just to put the dark tones in. Um, we're going to go through this fairly quickly. You can see I'm just blocking this area in. It's got to be really nice and dark, you see, uh, really pressing on hard because you've got this dark tone around the top of the body. So I'm going to use this to create the very dark tones of the dog. And with the lighter tones, I'm just simply pressing on with the graphite much lighter. It's very simple, really. You just don't press on so hard. But it's much better than using a pencil because you get that softer sort of shade to it. So we're blocking in most of these areas here. Don't forget to leave little light areas because the light areas will always stand out against the dark ones. Put a few final uh, touches now to these uh, legs, little final details as you can see here. There we go. A um, little bit of light and shade and try to get rid of some of the outline. There we go. Now we're just strengthening a little bit around the ears because obviously the focus of the dog is on its face. So I want to try to make sure that we get the eyes standing out, the ears standing out and the nose. There we go. Just a few final little touches to the nose. Just strengthen them a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of um, graphite in a moment and just go around the edges to create an edge. Now can you see how that makes the dog's head stand out? You see you can do that all the way around your drawing if you wish. Make the dog really stand out and make your drawing look really three-dimensional. Well good luck. Well that's the end of the video. I hope you've done a really good drawing. If you have and you've enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking here. Thank you very much.